everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect. This is part 8 where last time we encountered the matriarch Benezia. Uh, we decided uh, to spare the Rachni queen. Off they go into the galaxy. Um, and then we went and, uh, you know, we spoke with our spoke with our crewmates a bit and had a chat about everything and, and how that's all going. And uh, with uh, Garrus, he wanted us to go after this uh, gentleman called Dr. Salion, who uh, was going under the name Dr. Hart. And we went and murdered him. So that's done. So we're going to have a quick chat to Garrus uh, after doing that for him. See if he has anything to say about it. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to be getting into some uh, assignments for now before I jump into uh, heading to to Vermeer. So, like, Doctor at Risk uh, is one that I believe has actually been mentioned in the comments that's worth checking out more than, more than the others. Uh, so I might give that a look. And then we do have... Um, a few older ones as well uh, that I'll that I'll have a look into. So we'll focus on doing some assignments uh, first up before looking into heading to to Vermeer. Uh, but let's talk to Garrus. Commander, good to see you. Oh wow, he actually doesn't even want to have a conversation with me. Commander, how are you? Nice. Okay, I guess most of the actual having a conversation and dialogue comes after doing the main mission then. But if you chat to them after doing a couple of assignments, they don't have anything, don't have anything new to add to the conversation, which is which is fine. I just wanted to see if he had anything to say about us finishing up an old mission of his. But we'll check out the galaxy map now. Doctor at Risk wants us to go to the Newton system in the Kepler Verge. So let's go take a look. The Newton system in the Kepler... Okay, so we're already in the Kepler Verge, so that works out well. You just have to jump over to next door neighbors in the Newton system. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago on a coos. Oh, okay. So this ties into the assignment that we're about to do because uh, it has been mentioned in the comments of like this mission in particular is uh, is handy to to check out considering uh, my character's backstory so there was there was no no spoilers or anything given but it was like you should check out this assignment because i think it'll be worth it for your character so that's totally fine and i appreciate that so it's cool to get into something that's actually related to the character's backstory so i think that's awesome this can't have anything to do with what happened to me on a coos those thresher maws killed dozens of soldiers if this was more than just an accident we need to know commander shepherd what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. All right. Transmitting the last known coordinates. I'm assuming it's on one of these planets. Onteron. We can land on that one. Survey... Uh, Jun Crow? June Crow? For another gas deposit. Clen Cory. For Matriarch's writings. And Sesmos. Sesmosi. Something like that. And Ice Dwarf World. And then you gotta do the thing where you're like, ah, is there anything unknown in the. <laughs> Usually it would be like. Would it be near by a planet? Whenever we've seen an unknown thing at the moment, it's kind of been close to a planet. Alright, this looks to be the only planet we can land on. Though Onterom's surface is uncomfortably hot, its nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere... It, uh, sorry, its nitrogen... 
Oxygen atmosphere and abundant shallow seas make it an ideal candidate for habitation by most known species. Unfortunately, the orbit of the moon of uh, Thanal has been slowly decaying since the system coalesced. Its proximity is now, uh, its proximity is beginning to have tidal effects and its dynamo-like dynamo revolution um, through Ontrom's magnetic field is generating increasing powerful electrical storms. When you're trying to read out loud and you skip you skip over a word incorrectly and then you're just kind of like whoa <laughs> while some have suggested emplacement of mass effect drives in an attempt to lighten the moon and correct its orbit the scale of such a project tens of thousands of drives costing enough to bankrupt the government of all the citadel races make it a pipe dream a multi-racial effort is underway to catalog and preserve the unique genetic diversity of Onterom's vibrant young biosphere. Exogeny Corp and Heyuan, Heyuan, Gen uh, Genom Genomics, Genomics represent the alliance's share of the effort. It's genomics. God, that was a horrific reading. Apologies. <laughs> Let's go to Onterom. An attempt was made. Um, all right. Who do I want to be? Who do I want to be rocking with on this assignment? Uh, I'm gonna take Garrus and might take might take Ashley along for a change. We'll bring Ashley along. Ashley and Garrus. Everyone's already been like re-equipped with like new better gear and stuff that I had anyway, so no one's like sort of missing out on on anything, so it should be should be just fine. This is pretty. Haven't been on like a green world for a while. I didn't know there was this much green in the whole galaxy. Um we're making Ashley like the shotgun queen. At the moment, and then these two points. I think what I'm waiting for is we're about to reach the final paragon level, and that should unlock the final two charm things. Renegade, we're probably only gonna be at halfway at this rate, but we'll have to see how we go. That's why I'm holding on to those, uh, those two points for now. So we've got the anomaly, we've got some debris, and then we've got the underground facility. So we can just hit those up in sequence. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a pretty beautiful looking planet. What's a green? Got the nice mountain ranges. It's a nice change of environment from what we've been what we've been landing on uh, previously. But I'm very interested to see how this um, how this mission is going to go, considering it um, seems to be quite heavily related to Shepard's backstory on Akuz. So I was thinking maybe that's why we'll take Ashley along because it's like I don't know it's a little bit human related. So got to bring her out sometimes. We don't want to give her the shit jobs or just let her mope around the Normandy because, you know, I definitely empathize and it opened up a, opened up a really nice part of her character, I think, uh, when we started getting into, like, the nitty-gritty and talking about, like, her family's upbringing. Uh, it sort of explains why she feels the way that she does. Uh, really, like, yeah, it goes goes a lot more in-depth, opens up that, that character, and what's, what's really good is, like, it just shows how, like, well-written so many of the characters are, that all of these things that are already pre-written in their backstories, and, like, are exactly why they have the opinions that they do, and it's not just, like, unfounded, like, it's not just out of nowhere, like, you, you get that story from, from her... Uh, about her grandfather and stuff, and you're just like, damn, this all makes so much sense. And then you're like, damn, I've just been keeping you on the ship because I was like, because she was being uh, an, a little bit annoying. But then I was like, okay, we'll bring you on some missions because I don't want to just leave you on the ship. Are these enemies or are they just chilling? Do we just murder a friend, uh, one of your friends? 
Yeah, you guys are peaceful. Sorry, I just murdered one of your buddies. Arturian corpse. Hopefully I can run back up this as I go down. You ever just land on a on an uncharted world just to check it out and you see some bugs and you just shoot first, ask questions later and then you go Oop. <laughs> sorry guys I hope you didn't like that one as much as the other one bugs bugs breed like no tomorrow so I, I'm sure that'll be that'll be fine very comforting words from me <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss, <laughs> bug people. We were just chilling out. Alright. Zoom down this valley. Ew, is there fall damage on the Marco? No. Good stuff. I think that's what makes it like a lot more fun, is like there's not like you're not gonna like hit a wall at an incorrect angle and the ship blows up. Or like the the rover blows up. You know, it's like, it acknowledges, it's got good hydraulics. I think, like, the the appeal, depending on which worlds you go to, like, the appeal of it can sometimes, like, wear off slightly, and you're like, oh, yeah, like, you know, get onto a world, drive to the locations, rinse and repeat sort of thing. But I think the, that sort of magic of exploring an uncharted world in a rover, and how much I would, like, how crazy and exhilarating this would be to do in real life I sort of take that into account where I'm like you can imagine yourself doing this you know and just being like fuck imagine if this was me you're just on this random uncharted world just driving around in a rover salvaging probes no I didn't bring Tali or oh, so what was it Liara I think it's Liara alright I'll when I leave the planet I'll just probably land back on the planet and we'll salvage that. I always forget about that when going on Uncharted Worlds. I'm like, oh yes, the electronics skill. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. From a distance. Respectfully, you are now extinct. Um, yeah, I can just like imagine myself uh, in this situation. I think, like, can that be my job? Can I just fly to Uncharted Worlds and salvage probes? Like... That's, that's fine by me. Okay. Did that get him or not? Yeah, it did. I was like, oh, why didn't he die straight away? Ooh. Mercenaries. All these sort of buildings and like settlements all seem to be like very, very similar. A lot of the same. There's already dead people in here. Or dead person. Someone is already dead. Yeah, people are dead in here. Okay, but I'm seeing... Okay. Alright, we got... Krogan 2. Hey, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley's got the shotgun on. She, she knows what she's doing. Yeah, she's already... She's just going out there with carnage already. She knows what she's doing. You must die! Famous last words. That's it. Bag him and tag him. You got it, Garrus. Did they kill these people and take over the station? 
Are these like the guards or like the people that were related to like the scientists? A group of alliance scientists conducted a secret project on Akuz, the planet where your entire unit was wiped out. Now someone is killing the scientists. The only project member still alive is located in the Newton system of the Kepler Verge. So I think those guys were here. They must have killed these, which would have been the bodyguards for the scientists. Stay back. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Why? Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't... Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Ooh, but you died. Oh, that's interesting. Toombs? But you were on a coast. I, I saw the Thresher mob pull you under. They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Jesus. Tombs, I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I would have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Commander Shepard was there. She knows the truth. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? <laughs> Let me do it. You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coup, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Toom stares morosely at the floor, lost in his memories. You give the scientist a shove towards the door. Your mission is complete. The Alliance courts will take it from here. Someone from our past who survived a coup. And uh, I think we just finally hit... Um, we did. We finally hit uh, a new Paragon level. Because I just got an achievement for it that just popped up. So, triples your store discount. Woo! Now that that's maxed out, I can just probably focus on only doing <laughs> that, right? I think it's like, it's interesting because like Charm is now maxed out, but Paragon still needs more. So I think if I get it into that next level, then I'll be able to choose some more options if they're more difficult, potentially. That seems to be, seems to be the case. Lovely, uh, but I'm gonna return to the Normandy now that we completed Message that. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toom seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth fleet out. Nice. Uh, and we are going to land back onto the planet now. But we will choose... I'm just going to drop with just these two. Um, we'll just drop in. So I can go salvage that probe. Yeah, I like that uh, the missions can be 
uh, very very short and sweet sometimes like they can just be like you just go to the system uh, get some stuff that's like it's quite important to like character development and and story and and all of that and how that goes but then it's nothing that's like uh, ridiculously long or like dragged out or something like that like you go there for for a particular reason and that reason is like presented to you straight away it's like no nonsense like we're going off to dr salian i've got the coordinates of his ship let's go check take this motherfucker out and then it's just like we got situation with the doctors just go to this system and go check it out and i'm yeah i'm grateful for that i i definitely makes like side quests and assignments like less of a chore because you can look at them and be like cool like we can we can check these out some of them are different when it's like scanning 20 keepers but there's a lot to be gained from that like talking to people around you you actually sort of find your way around the citadel that's like seems like that's one of the main points of it as well is you know where things are it encourages you to run around and check it out so um yeah like you look at assignments and go ah oh, no nah, there's too many of those i can't be bothered we'll just do the main missions but just knowing that they're not incredibly uh taxing or time consuming is a strength that they have in my opinion and i'm gonna make it up here Yeah. Beautiful. Alright, salvage this probe. Damn it. Let's salvage this probe. Nice. Okay. And let's get out of here. Cool. Uh, we'll probably have a look at doing another assignment while we're here. So eventually we'll get around to doing the family armor, but I'm thinking I should, because I think it's sorted by... Sort by oldest. Yeah, sort by oldest. So I want to check out some of the older ones. So let's go to the Hydra system in the Argos Row cluster and investigate. So Argos Row Hydra system. Let's have a look. still not entirely you know confident in w where all of the like clusters and systems are and I probably won't be because there's so many but it's it's okay okay so we're in the Hydra system check out some more planets message coming in oh patching it through the general distress call for the sacred angel medical transport Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Looks like Metgos is the one. It's a large terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its hot surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of potassium and heavy metals. It is a uh, mineralogical treasure trove with concentrated heavy elements constantly being brought to the surface by volcanic activity. Metgos is inhospitable and dangerous and expeditions must be well prepared to survive any length of time. With its high mass, heat trapping clouds and constant volcanic venting, Metgos seems well on its way to becoming a Venusian pressure cooker world. Alright, so that looks to be the one. Canrum. Turian insignia recovered. And th they are, they are. Large gas giant. And Cyber, or Cyber, Cyber. A Neptune type gas giant. Such a beautiful blue. Like, look at that blue. That's gorgeous. And what was this planet? Varmalus. Varmalus? Okay, let's land on Metgos. Let's rescue some people. Um, on this mission, I will take Rex. I will take Garrus. 
Uh, Liara and Rex, actually. Sorry, guys. You can you can chill out for a while. I'll give you a break. You deserve it. I like my stasis. My stasis queen. Just so I can remember, right? Yeah, Liara is the one with full electronics. She is indeed. Um, you've got full shotguns as well. Okay, Liara, Singularity, max that out, and max out Barrier. Good, good stuff, team. Now, where are we? Uh, we got two anomalies and the debris. Well, the debris is not going to be what we need, so we'll smack that out first. I like the environment of this world, how it's like we're just driving on primarily like almost like ashes, like it's just like an ashen landscape. And underneath it, because you can see like the tinges of like red, where it's like all like the, I guess like molten, molten land underneath, just waiting to, to surface. Volcanic planets. Alright, how am I going to... Uh, yep. <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. Hello! Okay. Another happy landing. Okay. Crash probe. Like, the completionist in me is like, we gotta check it out, and then, like, the the person who's like, do we need to... <laughs> but then I'm just like, yes. It's like, we're here, we may as well do it. Otherwise, it's just more work for me later on if I decide to check out all the planets in my own time, and then I just have to waste time driving to... driving to spots all the time. Because you only get, you get, it's just like armor and weapon upgrades and stuff like that. And it's like they're definitely all dropping at the at the level that I'm at right now, which is around like sort of like the seven and eight level. I'm getting some that are like nine. Oh, that's what we want. Yeah, that's the airtime we're looking for. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not a half backflip. Otherwise, we're fucked. Are there like reverse thrusters in case you get stuck upside down so you can like put yourself back up in the air? Kind of feels like there should be. And now here's to find out if this anomaly that we're checking out first is going to be plot related. Alright, we've got to scale. Scale another mountain. Maybe they both are plot related. Instead of showing an exclamation mark for both, they just question mark them. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, it's a Turian corpse. Oh. In there? <laughs> Not the one on the floor? Is there another one in there? Oh no, it's just highlighted wrong. Okay. Nice. We picked correctly and now we go to this one. Ah, that one's literally called the uh, transponder signal. Didn't even realize. I just see question mark and assume it's going to just say anomaly. Ooh. Yes. Flawless. I wonder what it's like being inside the Mako when that's happening. We're like quite heavily strapped in. <laughs> the hydraulics compensate for everything. Imagine if there were like some actual like active volcanoes and stuff in, in the distance or like a lava river, a river or something like that. That would like spice it up a bit I think. Because a lot of the time you get on a planet and you're like, man, this place is just 
barren. <laughs> like, there's just nothing going on here. But it's kind of spice up the skybox a bit. Having, like, active volcanoes in the back would be so cool. Thorium deposit. Give it to me. Because then there's stuff like this as well that isn't always revealed on the map straight away and you have to actually, like, go around the map and find it. So there's probably quite a few of those that I've missed in my time. There is the wreckage. I do not see any survivors, though. Careful. Yeah, it's a trap! Oh. Shit. Are they flying? Geth- oh yeah, Geth rocket drones. Another Geth trap. This is not the first time I've gone to go salvage something. And the Geth have ambushed me. Anti oh, there's an anti-vehicle mine. Is it that underneath it? It is. If we drove close to it, it would have blown us up. Uh, what does that mean? Do we just leave? Decoy transmitter. Oh, okay. I didn't know that we could actually make these move. Apparently we can. Should we just return to the Normandy then? Ready. Okay. Let's get moving. I'm gonna take that as we can get out of here. What does the journal say? You discovered a strange transmission discussing some of the biotic commune. Okay, so it's just completed now. Yeah, you're able to survive the ambush. Okay, so sometimes there'll just be assignments that might just end in an ambush, and then it disappears. Okay. Strange transmission. Find the commune. Head to the sentry system in the Hawking uh, ETA, or the Hawking uh, ETA cluster, and investigate the strange biotic commune. This one seems promising. So, Hawking cluster. Century system. See, it's like hard when you have an, uh, an assignment that just ends up going like bust like that, but then it's like, oh, but I was also talking about the game and what I like, so it's like stuff that'll, that'll stay in, but it's like if there's assignments that we do that might be like, if that starts happening like frequently, if there's stuff that it's like not really hugely relevant, uh, we can see about like trimming the fat on that one a little bit. But. That one's fine. Not every not every mission will be will be successful. Or yield great rewards. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hawking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Major Kyle! What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. How do you know the Major's uh, a problem, Admiral? His name's Kyle. That's the biggest giveaway. He's drinking monster energy drinks and punching holes in drywall, left, right, and center. Deal with him. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. 
Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. Kyle is actually genuinely actually a cool name. And I think it's really interesting with like how it's spelled. It's one of the more like, you know, it's one of like, it has the name can be associated with a meme and a lot of people are called Kyle. But I think like in as far as standard common names go, Kyle's a pretty cool one. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluation showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. You can tell a assignment is going to be big or it's actually relevant when you actually get an investigate panel <laughs> to know more about what's going on. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Kill him with kindness, baby. Oh, this this one has a moon. Press rock. You can land on press rock. Is the moon of Clendagon. It is a frigid, barren world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. The crust contains plentiful deposits of heavy metals. The Alliance has opened bidding for the moon's mineral rights, but exploitation will be complicated by the system's proximity to the five kilo parsec ring around the galactic core. The ring is an area of intense star formation and too dangerous to safely travel. Presserop's landscape is a nightmare of jagged, overlapping ridges and geological shock, zo zone, shock zones created by some ancient disaster. This has not deterred a generation of illegal wildcat miners from attempting to exploit the moon's mineral riches. Unfortunately, many have lost their lives. So we can land on the moon. Tamahera. Got an asteroid belt as well. Yes. Metallic Asteroid. This is the kind of stuff I need to keep going to check out in the other systems I've been to that have uh, Asteroid Belts, because we haven't been doing that. Thoropto. You can survey. A Medallion. Kaintra. You can survey for Light Metal. Clendagon. Clendagon is an arid terrestrial slightly larger than Earth. Okay, so it's the moon that we're landing on. How are we doing on the... Um, this one. 5 out of 20 light metals, 5 out of 20 heavy metals, and 9 out of 20 rare earths. So this one's still going. Halfway through just below halfway terrain emblems that's going to take a little while that's going to take a little while yeah they're just ones that will do over time prothean artifacts not bad okay back into the system let's land on the moon major kyle now if i want to do this peacefully Let's not take the least peaceful person that we have. Ashley would probably want to kill him. Rex would probably want to kill him. Garrus would want to arrest him. Liara would want to do this peacefully. Caden would want to pick the option that would make Shepard fall in love with him. And Tali would probably be like indifferent. But more sympathetic. I don't know. That's that's my that's my psychological assessment of my crew. Just based on experience with them. <laughs> All right, let's have a check of this. 
Anomaly, debris, and the biotic compound. Nice. Yes, I wanted to see if the planet would be in the atmosphere. Look at that. And I'll point this out again. How cool would it be if we had something like this? Like, if we looked up at the night sky sometimes, and we saw, a, like, a planet that was this big. And because it was so close by, and, like, let's say it was, like, habitable, like, if it was not a moon but another planet, and we could have a whole other planetary mass that we could travel between... Just my, that's like my sci-fi dream, is I wish we had a planet neighbor. And you just get on your fucking spaceship. Go chill out on planet Theropter or whatever, you know? I just think that would be great. I think there's a, hold on. Ooh, I think there's a hidden anomaly that's only on the minimap. See, this is the kind of stuff that I feel like I miss on planets or you kind of skim over. Oh, it's going to be a fucking thresher more, dude. Look how open this area is. Ready? Fucking thresher more. Fucking thresher more. Is there like a way for you to... I wish there was a way for you to like, sort of upgrade your Mako's weapon capabilities, so maybe, like, you could do more damage. Like, it's it's already pretty capable. Ooh. It's already pretty capable. But I wish it could be more capable. Oh, God, don't come for me. I'm gonna... Ooh. Fuck my life, dude. I fucking hate it when it just... I fucking hate it when it comes directly for the for the Mako, because it's like, the controls are awkward when you're trying to run away from something. So I, I don't know if the ability to fight that off. Especially when I'm trying to watch where it is, and then you're like... How do I do this? Yeah, I wish you could, like, increase the uh, explosive damage that the tank cannon would do, or something like that. Or, like, even increase the health. Because the Thresher Moor, its attacks are really hard to dodge. Like, it seems to know where you're going to end up, even if you go into the air, even if you uh, zoom away. It's, it's hard to dodge. Like, you, you'll get hit, whether you like it or not, sort of thing. Gotcha. Nice. Alright, Threshamore defeated. And it's interesting that it still doesn't pop up on the map after you after you deal with it either. Something that um like a, a slight I wanna know more about the Thresher Moor in general before I talk about something. Well, they wouldn't be a council race and they're not extinct. Is there anything about... There we go. Thresher Moors, right? Um... ...spend their entire lives eating or searching for something to eat. Threshers reproduce via spores that can lie dormant for millennia, yet are robust enough to survive prolonged periods in deep space and atmospheric re-entry. As a result, thresher spores appear... There we go, that's ex that, that's, and, then, and there you go. There's my criticism that I was, that was, that was starting to rise, resolved instantly. Because I was thinking, like, it's probably like, in real world game development terms, I was like, oh, that might be like, you know, like a limitation of, um, a limitation of development when they're like, we can't have like unique giant enemies or random aliens on every planet, like, and come up with a whole slew of different races. So we'll just, you know, make the enemy, the common enemy that you face a Thresher more, 
but they give you a good, acceptable law reason for doing so. I was just about to point out that I was like, oh, I find it a little bit weird how there's so many Thresher Moors on all of these different worlds, you know? I'm like, they're just all around the, the galaxy. But then just that that one like little sentence there being like previous travelers, you know, traveling to all these worlds, they were carrying the spores that give life to the Thresher Moors, and that's why they are now on all the different planets. And then any planets that don't have them uh, it was either because maybe the Thresher Moors can't live in that atmosphere, um, or those humans, ne or not humans, or travelers never took the spores to that planet. The Codex answers all. Everything you need. This cluster of prefab utility shacks has a have a distinctly ramshackle look to them. A set of rover tracks lead away over the mountain ridge to the southwest. Abandoned mining camp. Can I see rover tracks? It seems like it's trying to get us to maybe follow. Is that? Yeah, it is. I was like, trying to see if that was getting highlighted the whole time. Which direction did they say there were rover traps? I think it was probably this way. Let's get some height. Let's go as high as we can. Yeah, I think it just put a second question mark on this spot. It looks like there's two on the minimap. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh! Yeah. Ancient debris. Looks good to me. I'm trying. Thank you. Ancient debris. Terrain insignia, nice. And wrecked mining vehicle. Okay, so I think this was the rover tracks from that camp they were just talking about. The front of the rover is crumpled in from impact. A glance inside tells you that the occupants, probably a team of illegal wildcat miners, are dead. Debris is still sliding down the furrows left by its tires, silent in the near-vacuum atmosphere. Okay, about a compound and the debris... They tried to drive down recklessly, and they failed, unlike me, who, as you can see, is very clearly an expert on scaling vertical surfaces. There we go. <laughs> and then, poof, we crash and burn. Let's go to the next destination, to the Bionic Compound. I 
I'm interested to see how this one's gonna go. So we're gonna get into like some space cult shit, which is great. Love the love the idea of weird space cult. And the fucking main dude's name is just Kyle. Ugh. So we got a we got a good opportunity to talk the guy down apparently. So we'll see. Garrus and Liara are my are my good negotiative types. So that I know that they'll back up my decision. It's just shiny. Cover me. Yeah, it's gold, nice. Gold on other planets. Oh, I swear I I pressed two buttons at the same time. Nice. Okay. Gold on other planets. It's closed. Store's closed. What do we do? Oh, hang on, we can go in here. I hope. Yes. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Yeah, this is open now. Cool. Let's go take a look in. Biotic cultist. Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. That a threat. Alright, let's see how this turns out. It's like a nice spin on how we usually enter these areas, and it's all like, it all looks like the same, but they've actually made an effort to spruce up the place. Got some, got some plant life. And got whatever these are. These are the, the space versions of a Dance Dance Revolution pad, I think. That's my expert opinion, I think. I love the music when you're in like bases and stuff like this. It's just so like weirdly calming and nice. Okay. Let's speak to Father Kyle. Ooh. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? 
Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. Paragon attack! You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I, I'm sorry. Paragon is like speaking the magic words of, oh, you do what I say. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. Mm, yeah, because it's like, that could be like one hour to prepare their forces and then to like attack us. I think it would be better if you came with me now, Major. I must do everything I can to keep any more of my children from suffering. This is the only solution. Okay. I'm going to choose to believe you. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. You should return to the Normandy and notify the Alliance of Kyle's surrender. They'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. I will surrender myself to the Alliance outside the compound gates in one hour, Commander. I give you my word. How do we feel? Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. I'm curious to see how this is going to go now. Jesus. It's because it's so easy for all of these guys to just turn on us and start shooting us. And it's easy for Kyle to take this hour to go, alright bitches, let's get ready because we're going to fuck some people up. But... Like I said, we're going to choose to believe him. We did the, mar the magic paragon words, so... Might be okay. Let's head back to the Normandy. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Nice. Paragon, baby. Good stuff. Okay, uh, in that case, let's take a look at the journal again. Minerals, that, that, that. Uh, Helena Blake, a high-ranking member of a criminal cartel, has asked you to eliminate two of her unpleasant compatriots. Yeah, I remember this lady. Their bases are located in the Han and uh, Dis or D die systems. Han and D. The S is silent, maybe systems. After eliminating them, meet Miss Blake in the Fortuna system for a reward. I remember her mentioning this to, uh, stuff to us. Eliminate the Crime Lords, the Han system of the Gemini Sigma Cluster and the D system of the Hades Gamma Cluster. So let's go to Gemini Sigma and then go to the Han Cluster first. It's gonna be every single one except like the one that I missed. Where is it? There, <laughs> like the last one. Ooh, there's two different like nebulas. Han Solo system. Let's go.
Paravin. Let's survey. Matriarch's writings. Farkrothu. Patanal. Patatan. <laughs> Pat. <laughs> Hang on. Pat at anal analyst. Patat. Patatanless. Patatanless. Jesus, that's hard to say. Mavagon. Alright, we can land on Mavagon. Mavagon. Mavagon is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin with deposits of potassium. They got bananas on this planet. The planet has a rudimentary ammonia based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents deep underground. Severe storm cycles are common due to limited visibility and navigation may be difficult. Hunting toe. Okay. Let's land in Mavagon. So, first planet out of the rest. Now, we're eliminating some crime lords, so we are going to get a bit combat heavy. So, I'm going to take Rex with us, and uh, because we go to Uncharted Worlds, I keep Liara as well for her electronic skill in case there's any debris to salvage. Uh, Rex should have a have a field day. It's our Christmas planet. All right, let's see. Debris, Syndicate hideout. Easy peasy. And not so easy. You got this. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll try. I'll rethink my strategy. Maybe we'll just go around, like, slightly. This is the only way to explore. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, assignments seem to be seem to be like that kind of like just go through the the motions, rinse and repeat. Have some good dialogue and some exploration on you on a new world. Whereas the main missions are a bit more extensive. They're like go to the place, see what's going on, do a bit of discovery, exploration, bit of detective work. You know, talking to a bunch of people, seeing those like different outcomes based on who you speak to, which information you gather, all of that kind of stuff. And then the assignments are like a, a, a nice change of pace for like quick completions. It's good stuff. Do I have to get, I think I have to get up there. Oh, maybe not. Nice. Thanks Liara, helping us out here with the electronic skill. Make a straight drive over to the, the Syndicate hideout. I remember us talking to her in the Citadel, and she wasn't very... We weren't very trusting of her, I don't think, initially. Like, we were saying stuff like, uh... Something like eliminating the competition, or like, should we just arrest her instead? <laughs> I'm like... You're a conspirator... You're like, a known conspirator now. But she said some fancy words, and then we went, Okay, we'll do it. And we'll see we'll see what happens. We got some enemies. Let's try and go around the back. We'll take the back entrance, please. Oh, maybe it's up. Okay.
Greetings, everybody. Have we surprised you? In we go. Alright, Rex, you ready for a fight, boy? I'm gonna take out some crime lords. This is the only time where this music that's very, like, mystical and, like, mysterious and calming should probably not be in a thing where you know that there's gonna be a set combat scenario. <laughs> oh, no, they got plants in here as well. If they had plants in every single one, and I'm only noticing it for the first time, because I'm not... I don't know. Is it one of those times where I'm only choosing to apparently notice something? I swear I haven't noticed the, uh, any plant life before. Ooh, there's Turians here. Yeah, no, nah, I think it's this layout specifically that uses like a room like this. So I don't think we've uh, come across the plants before. Certainly haven't come across fighting Turians um, that often at all. Oh man, my stuff is permanently overheated. Fire in the hole. Incoming. Something that I really don't like about the grenades in this game is you throw it with X, you detonate, you detonate it with X, and a lot of the time when I do that, I press X, it detonates, and then I throw another grenade automatically. Like it's it's almost double pressing, which is a real shame because I'm just wasting grenades when I don't want to be. Yeah, I'm unfortunately noticing that here and there as I'll double throw or like, you know. Crime Lord defeated. Helena was right. These guys had quite the operation going. But that's all going to change. One down, just one more to go. Let's check out their back room. See if they're hiding anything. Wow, secure crate with the decryption skill too low. Because I don't have Garrus. Mm. I don't have Garrus, so nobody has decryption. It's a little bit annoying. But understandable. Have a nice day. So I was like, oh, it's going to be one that's like high leveled, but then I was like, actually, you don't even know because there's no decryption. And this is why Garrus and Liara are perfect to take with me. One is great at electronics, one's great at decryption, and they're both just good pals. Everyone else is just, uh, just good at, good at shooting things and hanging out. Regardless, it's time to head back to Normandy, and we will go back to the next system. Alright, let's jump into the next system, which I believe, uh, I'll just need to double check, is in the Hades Gamma Cluster. So now we're going to go to the D, the, the D system, the DIS, the D system in the Hades Gamma Cluster, and if I press the correct button, I think I might just get there in good time. So, Hades Gamma Cluster, I believe, is... there! And... this is the system. Okay. Now, let's see where in this system we actually need to end up. Jatar. Niarum. Survey this planet for some light metal. Another asteroid belt, so I might take check that out. Ratia for a Turian insignia. Clenzel. We can land on Clenzel. Let's check the asteroid belt. There we go. A metallic asteroid. Now for some light metal. 
Grandma. Might continue to check out the asteroid belt just in case. Might be multiple. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, so let's land on Clenzel. Take out this next uh, enemy stronghold. Now, Garrus was fine, but. Um, Rex was fine, but we'll take Garrus and Liara once again because my decryption and electronics squad always need to be on deck. So let's take a look at the map that we're looking at at the moment. What's the map? Alright, we've got a few things around the area. Wonderful. Syndicate hideout. Anomaly. And a crashed escape pod? Yeah, crashed escape pod and debris. Nice. Alright, let's run through the destinations and then clear out this hideout. Alright, we're at the hideout. We're going in. We're going into their base. Looks like uh, one of the research outposts. Uh, I've also got Garrus, which... <laughs> I find this uh, this helmet funny. <laughs> Just showing his eyes. Because he doesn't have his uh, doesn't have his visor thing on, so it looks, it looks strange. Uh, I'm going to chuck a uh, point into damping. Um, and part of me kind of wants to start putting some points into electronics, potentially. Might just start giving him a couple, because it does increase the strength of his shields, so if I can at least get... If I can at least get something like that, that'd be good. Didn't realize that the electronic skill, some, something I missed, actually contributes to how fast the ship can be repaired, the rover can be repaired. So when we have Liara with us, that probably contributes uh, greatly to that. Okay. Bit of a change of environment. We'll check out the research type outpost. Mine, I Oh, also, before I get into this, I'm, I was looking through my equipment and I noticed that uh, I started getting, like, because I was looking through my mods, I've got the high explosive rounds now, 500% heat, <laughs> but 500% weapons force, and I, I am about to see what that actually does. I put that on a sniper rifle for another character as well, but just so you know, because we've got highly explosive rounds now does contribute to our weapon wanting to overheat quite quickly. Probably would work really well as a sniper, like taking like that one shot each time. So I put it on a, I put it on Liara's sniper, I think. Even though Liara's not hugely weapon savvy, but you know She'll, she'll use, she still uses weapons. There you go. It's pretty quick. Yeah, they're all using their, they're using their abilities very well. I like that. Ooh, this would probably be good with overkill, eh? Ooh. Ex high explosive rounds with overkill. Second crime lord defeated. That's both of them. No doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. Yeah, dude. Highly explosive rounds with overkill? Jesus. That's one way to wreck everybody. Okay. We're now two, two crime bosses down. I can now get the hell out of here. And we can go meet uh, Helena... Um... At the Fortuna system in the Horsehead Nebula, so we'll head there now. The Fortuna system. Maganlis. Maganlis. Turian insignia once again. Uh, Watania. Watania. The planet Therum. Therumlon. Therumlon. We can survey this one. Get a rare element. And then we have... Amaranthine. Amaranthine. 
the planet to land on that we're going to go meet Helena Blake on. Uh, Amaranthine is a chilly rock world with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Its frozen surface consists largely of light titanium and aluminium oxides, with deposits of thorium and other heavy metals located in the deep crust. Amaranthine was named by the human poet Sophia uh, Cabral during her tour of duty aboard the Alliance surveyor ship Cube. Under the dim light of the Red Dwarf Fortuna, the surface of this world is lit in rich twilight blues and purples, even at midday. Beautiful! What a beautiful description. Squad, let's go. Alright, let's go meet with Helena Blank and see uh, Blake and see how this goes. Is she gonna then go, thanks for eliminating my competition, now I'll eliminate you! Or is she just gonna say, thank you, have a nice day, and please do your best to stay out of my affairs. Because I'm the crime boss now. We'll just have to see. Let's journey onward uh, to meet with her now. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. She got guns. I love that the top answer is, I'm not done yet. I'm going to take you out too, you crime lady. Jane Shepard, the paragon of justice. I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you <laughs> press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. And this is like, we're only going to be doing illegal shipments and gambling. Like, it's not worth your time. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? We will disband the group. I don't, we don't fuck with, we don't fuck with what this gang's reputation is known for. That is out of the question. That is not okay. You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a specter. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Nice. I'm not going to press anything, because I think if we go in there, they might attack us. We'll play it safe. Because one of them yelled, <laughs> like, as if they're about to start shooting. We go, go, go. Oh, they still are. We can't talk to Helena Blake. But I think that should... Yeah, that mission is now completed. Um... Nice. You eliminated the two rival crime wars and convinced Helena Blake to disband the gang altogether. Good stuff. I think uh, after doing a few uh, assignments, um, especially some of the, the older ones, uh, we have got a couple more that I can do, but I might look into doing that um, another time. So I've smashed out quite a few. Uh, I'm now going to head to Vermeer. Uh, I believe I believe Vermeer was the one... Oh no, hang on, we got Race Against Time first, didn't we? Because, yeah, sorting by oldest. Saren is searching for the conduit, an ancient relic dating back to the Prothean extinction. Through the visions burned into your mind by the beacon on Eden Prime, you believe the conduit is a weapon capable of wiping out all life in the galaxy. Saren must be stopped. Oh, I mean, this one just says you need to explore Ferris, Neveria, the Islands, Dalcluster, and Vermeer. Oh, okay. We're going to Vermeer. Head to Vermeer and rendezvous with the Solarian team. Wonderful. Okay. Let's uh, head back to the ship 
um, and just go to Vermeer. Race Against Time will then be probably the one that we look at doing after that. Crime Syndicate disbanded. Nailed it. Now. Let's back out. Vermeer is this way. I, I find it interesting that in the Exodus cluster we've had Asteroid X57 this whole time as well pointed out similarly to how Ferros, Neveria, and Vermeer and the Citadel are. Um, Asgard. Dude, the Asgard system? Asteroid X57. We don't have anything about this, but it is just like... It's always been here since the beginning and we haven't checked it out yet. X-57 is a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing uh, Lagrange point of the gas giant bore. With the increased development on Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary. Due to a shortage of funding, it was decided to mine out X-57 using the recovered resources to finish out the interior for habitation. The asteroid was decelerated uh, from Bohr's orbit using fusion torches, allowing it to fall into the orbit of Terra Nova. Recently, communications with the engineering team on X-57 have been lost, the fusion torches have reignited, and the, the asteroid is accelerating towards Terra Nova. Um, something that I am aware of with this game is the Legendary Edition comes with all of the, uh, pretty much all of the DLC stuff, so maybe, maybe this is like a DLC related thing, so I might put this on hold, but we will come check out this area soon. I love that there's an Asgard system, and we've got Boar, Tyr, and Loki, and then Terra Nova. Shame that there isn't more planets for, like, Odin and Thor and stuff like that but that's that's cool so asteroid 57 we'll put a pin in it or we'll, we will come back to that one later uh but vermeyer for now so we go to the hawk system it's about time we visited a new main location but those assignments were all all very fun and enjoyable for me okay priscilla and then we got Chloroplon, Chloroplon. I'm always trying to do two different pr type of pronunciations depending on which one might sound better. Sometimes, Jarfor and Namata. And then of course, Vermeer. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, Vermeer is a lush frontier world, ideal for colonization by carbon-based species. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Unfortunately, the political instability of the nearby terminus systems have impeded colon uh, colonization efforts. The high risk of raids by pirates and slavers makes it an unappealing homestead. It's literally just like, they were like, let's have a fucking pirate world. It's all tropical and, and all this stuff, but it's infested with pirates <laughs> and slavers. Mass Effect Pirates. Hmm. Might bring Tali. We'll take Tali with us. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Ooh, what a cool landing. I like that we actually got a unique landing. Even the water dripping off. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. The unique landing was awesome. Alright, let's level up Tali. Um, her electronic skill is fine, so we can take, we can replace Tali with, um, I mean, look, Tali has electronics and decryption. We can essentially just take Tali with us instead of both Garrus and, um, Liara when we he head out. So I'll max the, th I'll max that, and I'll put a point into first aid. That's not a bad, yeah, that's not a bad idea if I want to just go planet searching through Uncharted Worlds. Tali seems to be a perfect fit for both decryption and salvaging. 
Garrus is here because he's the best boy. We'll give Liara a break. Now we're taking out some AA towers. I love that it goes, look at those defense towers, and it doesn't show us. Is that a defense tower? Gatehouse, 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 Salarian camp. Okay. Are these enemies? They're not showing us red like the uh, others. What are these? Is that an eyeball? <laughs> They look creepy. Well, they're not a threat. It's like peaceful. I love I love seeing like water. What a beautiful beautiful little location for a planet. Beautiful environment, I mean. Ugh. Weird fucking weird crab th thingies. Crab aliens. Oh, here we go. Geth Assault Drones, as per usual. Let's be nice and not try murdering the innocents. Like, we killed the bug last <laughs> One of the bug people last time. What did they do to us? Jammed. Come on, guys. It's futile. Why are you even trying? Well, they can't drive through those shields. Like they're actually good, decent roadblocks. Apparently, it's still jammed. Just wondering if that's because there's people up ahead, though. That is the case. Anyone else? Yes. Someone else. Now, I'm just wondering if we should be... Alright, well, we can at least explore the gatehouse. Let's have a look. Oh, alright. Let me just fix that one up for you. Realize we're going to have a Colossus coming to hang out. Okay. Let's have a look in the gatehouse. Try not to... decryption. I don't think I even killed that enemy. He yeah, just disappeared. No! Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We got this. Focus up a little bit, please. There we go. Now, is that the only reason? Geth terminal that we can't activate. Damn, alright. So it looks like the gatehouses are really just gonna be like, if you want, there's some enemies tucked away in there. And the potential to get some some more items, but outside of that. Seems pretty chill. two ways that I can go? I can. One is a dead end. So let's just check out the dead end. The other one takes us around correctly. Oh, maybe it's not a dead end. Hold on. It is a cave. It's cave! These Geth Colossus just really love to tank a bunch of hits, don't they? Okay. Alright. So there's just a Colossus on each pathway, I guess. level up. Uh, another two points each. Let me... I think that's pretty good. This gatehouse is closed. Alright, looks like we've got to open up the... So not all gatehouses are useless. I'm using this one to block our exit. There must be a way to shut that gun down. Oh, is there a gun here? So then, right, gate controls, generator still active, gate override offline. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. We're close to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue. On your mark, Commander Shepard. Just lead the way. Okay. One thing I wish that there was like something that was like a little better, I know that this is like a remaster of like an older game, and this is kind of like pretty classic for games around this generation, but like, I don't know whether it's like maybe like a faster sprint or even like a... Huh. A faster sprint or like, I don't know, even like a dodge roll or something? Okay, hang on, I've done something wrong.
Gates are still closed. So I need to turn this off first. Okay, vehicle gates open. I did it wrong. That's fair enough. Round two. <laughs> yeah, maybe like faster sprint, maybe a little bit more stamina because you get fatigued. Um, you get fatigued really quickly. So it kind of like puts you off doing that like physical movement. As soon as I leave the, the Mako, I'm like, Oof, my low stamina. That's the uh, Normandy flying on through. Okay, let's do the same thing it properly. I wonder if the Geth are capable of conversation. Like if you could talk, if you could talk to them. Or if there's ever a situation where that actually occurs. It'd be very interesting. Gates open. We should be free to make our way to the cave. And where are we? Alright, we'll just go around the corner and then we get to the camp. So yeah, there tends to be when you get onto a new main planet, they have like their you gotta get have your journey to get through to the main area first. No stranger to this. At least we've got a nice beautiful location to like travel through here. Mass Effect Mario Kart on that on that map. Touchdown at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Just reminds me of the Mario Kart map. Ship's been grounded, baby. There go the Solarians. Hello, everybody. What's good? Oh, Ashley's so what here. What are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Ashley's here. What the hell? And Caden. Everyone's off the ship now. That's interesting! Opportunities for like more characters that you don't uh, pick to come with you um, being like in dialogue. That's that's really cool actually. I like that. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We're strong enough to be a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Saren? Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. Uh. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? 
Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. Wow. This is another reason why I'm glad, because there's no, like, if I brought Rex along, um, it would have been lucky, but I'm really glad that they're like, let's just have the whole team here, because Rex can get involved. A cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Interesting. Hmm. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. <sighs> we are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. It can be used for good, though. It can be used for good. Like the nice Krogan. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. Be ready. Well, like he's gonna turn on us? I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. Be ready for what? I'm always ready. What, we think he's gonna turn against us? I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. Damn. Okay, hold on. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Chill out, everybody. Is that the AA gun going off? I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Hmm. Hmm. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. All right. Let's see. Let's see how this is gonna go. I'm gonna save my game because it's been a while since I saved my game. So that's a good idea, and we can talk to we can talk to Rex. Commander, come and see me after you've spoken with the Krogan. Hang on. Uh, let me just speak to the Solarian that's in here. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. That AA gun is very obnoxious <laughs> in the in the background. Um, I'm gonna start buying the licenses because that's something that I actually missed that people have mentioned is the licenses, and I think that then goes to um, I think that then goes to my. Uh, Quartermaster on the uh, on the Normandy, so I need to actually get into the habit of checking that out frequently. Um, usually, when I go back to the Normandy, is when I get into the habit of selling a bunch of stuff again. Uh, anything that's like I have a, a lot of, because I don't really keep a whole bunch. Considering we're at eight and nines now, I'm even considering just selling anything that ends up being under like six but I'll do I'll do a proper look at everything once I'm back on the ship at the moment I just sell like doubles and triples and above because we have we have a lot more money now 
and then I get I feel more comfortable like going and buying something that's like a bit more uh, a bit more expensive from those uh, from those vendors but again at this in the same uh, in the same sentence in the same sentence I've been uh, really enjoying the weapons and items and stuff that we've just been getting anyway like just by playing the game like you're just finding stuff that just improves us along the way like really well you don't have to necessarily buy uh, anything uh, let me just save over that now that I've actually done money I've been on this mission far too long my brood won't even recognize me. All right. Let's have a chat to Rex, who's actually holding a this weapon. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Yeah, he's holding a gun as well. This man's prepped. I need to defuse this. I'm not, I don't want to lose him. And I also agree with him, I think. I, I would want to see a way for this cure to be used in a positive way. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. Quick on the draw, too. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Signal Ashley to kill Rex. Jesus, you can actually lose a squad member. This is insane. I didn't think we would be able to lose our own squad. Holy shit. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Diffused. One thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Diffused. Nice. Join this and let go. Good job, buddy. I'm glad. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. Woo! I have a feeling I needed to really be maxed out on my charm there. <laughs> to even do that one. I can't believe that we could have shot him ourselves or also signaled Ashley to to kill him. She would have done it gladly too. These Solarians seem pretty tough. I just hope they hold up under pressure. Just say the word. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you fucking are. With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. I will fight with fire for you, Commander. I love Garrus's voice. I can't believe you were able to calm Rex down. Like, whatever the, like, effects or modulation that they use is, is really cool. And I think Tali's voice is great as well. Uh, I guess we're stuck here for now. We're close, Commander. Saren can't hide forever. Okay. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? 
The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You okay. want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. I like it. We won't be able to meet their force head on. Definitely not. But I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Am I just about to just... Uh, am I at a point of the game where you, I can just start losing squad members? That is a bold request. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Nor is it yours. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, <laughs> they really mean kiss my ass? Shut it, Marines. Um, wow, okay, you can choose. Ashley's the top choice, too. Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? If I'm gonna lose one of these two on this assault, because <laughs> I think that's how this is gonna go, we're gonna let Ashley go. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. I need a few more moments to prepare. Take your time, but we're ready to go as soon as you say. Alright. I hope these Solarians can fight. I want to I wanna check something out. I'm curious, right? So, I'm going to save the game. This is what I love about multiple saves, especially in a choice-heavy game like this. This way you can really end up in some weird situations. Is Let's reload save 11. I want to see what happens if we do the Rex encounter differently. Let me just have a quick little sidestep. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Should we just be dicks straight away? Let me see what happens. This has to be done. Saren is the enemy, not me. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. 
Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. He says the same thing. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Do it myself or signal Ashley? I think both of these will just trigger a fight. I do my own dirty work. Commander, are you all right? Fucking ice cold. Imagine Jane Shepard just punching a Krogan to the ground and then just fucking oh my god blank stare shooting multiple bullets no I'm not I can't believe he'd turn on us what happened I just couldn't reason with him he wasn't gonna let us take out the base damn I know he was angry I just didn't think he'd lose his life over it better him than the commander yeah I suppose Jesus, man, you can you can lose squad members. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Well, fuck. This is a really real moment uh, of the game for me because I was like, hell yeah, we're getting these members of our squad, and that is how games work. You have squad members, and you level them up, and you choose people, and that's great. I wasn't expecting to actually lose people. I thought they had plot armor. We didn't equip Rex with plot armor. And now he died because of it. Dude, that's nuts. Now anyone's on the table. That means I could lose anyone. After this has happened, I'm like, we could even make the wrong choice and like lose Garrus and lose Tali and lose Liara. That's insane. And I just wanted to see what would happen. And there you go, we saw what happened. Um, if we don't save him or don't talk him down from it because I still want to get this guy's family armor you know I like Rex so ready to prepare for the assault we got a new codex entry Salarian government military doctrine we haven't had any primary entries for a while yet all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for the mission. Are you ready, Commander? Ashley is going to go with the team. Let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. And then also, because I've saved the game before I did any of this, I could also potentially <laughs> choose Caden instead and see what happens, but that's something to do for another time, I think. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know. It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. That's what you say to people who are gonna die. I'll see you on the other side. Let's kick ass. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs. Keep your eyes open and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. If we are trained for espionage, we would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot, or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. 
Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. That was a good speech. Salarians be fucking... Salarians just be fucking giving that speech. Hold the line! God damn. And this is a test for Ashley. As the commander of this mission, this is a test for Ashley. Ashley talks about, you know, how she gets, like, ship missions and her family gets the ship missions because of what happened with her grandfather. This is a good mission. This is, like, one of the most important ones. And Ashley, you could be on boots on the ground... Um, and if she goes, she goes with glory, and there's a good legacy there. She did her family lit lion proud, and I want her to be in this team because she doesn't have good relationships with other species. Based on that previous history, this she has a bit of a, like, a bit, she's like a bit of a xenophobe. Because of her history, and that's and that's like what happens there. She's a bit xenophobic because of it. So, as commander, she will work with them as a chance to build character and also to give her a mission uh, that is deserving of um, her family because of like what she's what she's told me. So it's it's a learning experience for her. Uh, I will take my boys. Um, it feels like because this mission is quite. Interesting. Part of me wants to take Rex. I may take Rex and Tali. Liara and Garrus can stay back with Caden. I will take Rex and Tali. I am a bit concerned with taking Rex because I'm like, what if he freaks out again? Like when he like he murdered Fisk, uh, Fist, and he also doesn't feel great about this. He's a part of me feels like he's even a liability, but then at the same time, I kind of want him to be the one that like comes with me to see it through. And maybe there might be something that Rex is useful with with bringing to the to the team. I'm going to run this one with Rex and Tali. As much as I want to take Garrus. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay. This is pretty... Shadow is on the ground. Repeat. Shadow is on the ground. Time to get some attention. Mono Vi is under coordinated crossfire. Check for long range turrets helping the Geth target. Only thing that I'm kind of worried about with having Tali here is we haven't been able to upgrade Tali's um, armor that well. So she's actually quite weak in that regard. But everything else, she's, she's okay. because she's got all of the electronics and the decryption skills on her own essentially. Alright, disrupt communications. I see. So, satellite uplink tower, refueling platform, research facility. Okay.
so that's something that we could have missed. Oh, nice. Oh, we can even hear their mission. Okay. So we need to make sure that we do as much as possible down here that can help them out, because maybe that will then end up improving their chances of survival. So uh, we'll do satellite up uplink, then go to refueling platform, and then go to the research facility. You guys good? Are you guys... The yeah, there's enemies over that way, come on. Jato, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? We're not getting any... We're not getting any... Comms from... Williams, though. Just hearing... Old mate talk about him. Nice. No more satellite attacks. Satellite uplink destroyed. Also, that music when he was giving the speech um, was so good. Ooh! Get out of here. Rex, help me out here. There's a fucking Krogan. <laughs> Thank you. Where did my... Okay, you're teleporting now. That's, that's a good new ability that you guys have learnt. Alright, refueling platform, let's go. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Ah. So we're getting communication about all of the locations that we're just about to head head to and like disrupt. Is it this way? It is this way. Okay, we're heading this way. I love how... I love... But, like, the stakes just feel so real. It feels massive. So, I, I really... I think this is incredible. I mean, we, we almost lost... We almost lost Rex if we didn't do a good job. making sure oh my what the f god ah! <laughs> what a headache all right i think we're done with that we destroyed the flyers and these pods okay now with that in mind we've disabled those three things this should help them out tremendously right at least we can hope so Yes, you are. You are indeed. What the f- <laughs> Honestly, it's like, the Krogan- Sometimes, I swear to God, the, the AI is weird, but the Krogan is the weirdest. Like, some of the things that they do, like, they spin around on the spot. When they're on the ground like that, I can just, like, push them with the sniper. It's crazy. Um, research facility, and there's two ways in. Let's go down this way. Let's take this path. It's further away, so maybe it's more important. Oh, hang on, never mind. I guess I just... Yeah. Okay, I just made that up, I guess. Oh, hang on. Maybe it's this way? Yeah, hold on. There we go. Oh, it's... Oh, we can decrypt it. Nice. I've been waiting for something like this to happen. Like a door that's locked that you can override. That's better.
indoctrinated. Oh, like Salaria, uh, Saren's, um, Saren, uh, Saren's got them. I was like mixing up Saren and Salarian in my head because he sounds so similar. Um, Saren has got them indoctrinated by the Sovereign. We've got access to base security. We can cut the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Yeah, don't do it. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. We won't send them any anymore. We'll take it. Yeah, Tali, you tell him. I mean, it feels weird that we're murdering Salarians, but I guess they don't have free will at the moment because they're indoctrinated. How many guards are there? It doesn't seem like there's a lot. I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. There you go. The indoctrination! He resisted! The Salarian Commando. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. Man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. It's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. Tali doesn't think something's right. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I... I don't know. Um... Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Shepard's face in the fucking, like, when it's warped. It's, how can you take that seriously when she's, like, all disrupted? Well, he just put himself to sleep, so that's fine. He just knocked himself out. That's fine. Because then when this is all over, and there's no danger... You can get out, okay? And then everything will be fine. We'll let you out and it'll be chill. I just need to kill these dudes first. Because he's still got whispers. He's still got the voices going in his head, so they would probably... We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Probably, you know, definitely endanger the mission. Where's that elevator? Uh, would that elevator be to... To the lab, to the detention cells. And that takes us to the labs as well. More detention cells. Well, you're not a gat, and you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. 
Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. Turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that, please. Let me out. I just realized with that other dude as well, because if we don't let him out, I think we're blowing up the facility and that means there's not going to be time to take, uh, to release any of them. So that dude just knocked himself out and he will go peacefully in his sleep now, instead of us picking him up later. Uh, this dude is seems a little bit more screwed tight, but maybe that could be a facade. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Maybe I should have let the other dude out and told him the same, but then at the same time, he seemed very unhinged and like he was about to get indoctrinated, so I think we did alright there. I'm gonna stand by my decision. Okay, now this is going to take me to maintenance in the warehouse and then to base exterior. Let me just see where this goes. Ooh. Just to make sure that this isn't the right way, I will make another save. Because if we don't end up exploring that the, down there, that'd be a shame. Um... Oh, we got a sorry scientists. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This one's got a name, Doctor Droyus. Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? Was there not an opportunity to talk to this person? No. Stay back. This is important work. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's got to be... Wait. Before I investigate the husks, maybe. Let me see. Can we talk to the doctor? No. Okay, it just goes straight into combat. There was the option to talk to them from a distance, but it was too far away. What, what the... F on? What are you doing? Leave me... Where is Sarah? No. Stay back. My gun, by the way, is just overloaded. I can't, I can't, sh I can't shoot. <laughs> just so you know, I'm not doing anything by choice. Now I can finally shoot again. And then I died anyway. Um, can we not talk to them? Because look, it pops up with a talk option. Can I sneak in? You can't talk to them from this far away. Because, uh, like, this has happened before when people gave me crap for murdering the dock workers in the Citadel. But, like, what happened there was, uh, before I'd even entered the room, in 0.2 of a second, uh, the dock workers ran away and pulled out their guns, so I just thought that it was, um... I just thought that it was a glitch, that they weren't in attacking stance right away, and then we, we killed them. Cause, and then I was talking about, I wonder if there was could have been a... Um, a peaceful way to go through that. Just wasn't, unfortunately, it just wasn't very obvious that there was. And so in this situation, I'm like, I'm trying to retry to like actually walk through see if I can talk to them because it seems like being able to talk to an actual Krogan scientist would have you know something they'd have something to say Sarah needs to pay for what he's done to my people. 
These are the genophage labs. Security office, cell block B. So another cell block. I think we came from there already. Yeah, we came from there because we went down that lift. Down there, up this lift. That takes us through. This goes to the breeding facility entrance. And this goes to communications tower. Okay, I actually think this might be the way to go. I think this might be the way to go. So let me go back down. Yeah, that's just one of those moments where I feel like um, there should have been potential for some communication there between me and the good doctor. But no. A hacked Geth Juggernaut. Oh, is he on our team? Nice. One of our one of our people just used their skills to hack into him. That's awesome. Medigel deployed. Ah, oh, you know what? This just seems like this is where we came from. Yeah, to like, to the base exterior. Uh, this seems like it might have just been that other door that we didn't choose to go through. So there was just like two entrances, right? And we went through the lower area first. Yeah, that's right. Cool. All right. I now have a good understanding of the base layout. So... This wasn't necessarily an area to miss, it was just a different route to take. But we've dealt with the Geth in here nonetheless. And now I can proceed going the, the correct way. Uh, what does the journal say? The journal says, Karen's team is still fighting, they will continue to push in the facility, but need time to extract themselves once the bomb is set. Where are we planting the bomb again? In the breeding facility or the communications tower? Because it seems that there's two ways to go. choice here is security office, communications tower, and then breeding facility entrance. Oh, hello. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? You deserve to die. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. 
It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Whoa. It could be so. It could be something even it's something even above Saren that he thinks that it's affecting him too. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Hmm. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! <laughs> I like the way you think, Shepard. Thanks, Rex. It's just the validation that I needed. Now, this takes us through to all of his stuff. There's also the breeding facility. Uh, I'm going to keep saving just to make sure. I don't go the right way when I always want to go the wrong way first. Because we don't want to miss anything. Or at least we try not to. I'm going to go through this way. Because <clears throat> I feel like we should end up going to through to the breeding facility as well, right? I'll just have to wait and see. Communications tower first. Ah, oh, that's the plot point. Hang on. Hmm. All right. No, I'm doing. I would do breeding facility. <laughs> do the breeding facility. It said that the plot point was there. So if I go this way instead. like we'll get everything that we that we need I don't know what's gonna be down this way but we can at least have a look probably some more enemies ah uh, hang on oh never mind we actually can't all right that makes sense what we're gonna need to do in that case I believe is do communications tower and then maybe something will happen there to trigger that bridge coming down That seems more appropriate. So it's not necessarily a fork in the road choice, it's just one at a time. One at a time. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Another beacon. Should we go and uh, go and get another? <laughs> Another vision pumped into our brains. Wow. Man, we just gonna approach it, huh?
or Manidliara to help me figure this one out. Shit, dude. I'm going to tear this whole place down. I get the feeling something bad is <clears throat> You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. That is one of the coolest voices I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> Oh my god, just the instant menacing, like the, the impact of that voice. Wow, the ship is a the ship is alive, dude. The music? Holy shit. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship, Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end. What they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. <laughs> there is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. The Reapers, dude. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! Tali was good to bring along. tali has got stuff to say. Rex is kind of like, oh, I just kind of wanted to blow stuff up. So maybe I should have uh, brought... Maybe... I think Liara would have been good to bring. In hindsight now. But that's okay. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. God, that's so fucking cool. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over.
Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Sovereign's coming. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Okay, now we go to the breeding facility. Sovereign's coming, baby. Holy shit. <laughs> Bruh. So, Saren is not in control as he thinks of, like, just because he's got himself a fancy Reaper ship does not mean he has control. Oh, they got cut out. That bridge is up now. Yeah, just because Saren got himself a Reaper ship doesn't mean the Reapers are not just using him for their goals, either. Buddy. You wanna see some real speed, bitch? Alright, breeding facility time. I can't get over how good that voice sounded. Holy shit. We are Legion. Incredible. Okay, we are going just around, okay. Can't be bothered opening crates at this point in time. It's too epic. We're in a hurry. Oh, they're so strong, dude. Rex, you got any of this up your sleeve? Fuck them up. where like all of the excitement uh, and enjoyment from the game like s totally comes from like just how good the dialogue is like holy shit up we go That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Oh, God damn it! Got overloaded immediately. That's good. <laughs> Excuse me. Classic explode the grenade only to throw another one. Set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Oh, <laughs> blink and you miss it, but there goes Joker. There we are. 
Hey, hello. Nice landing, Joker. Load in the bomb. Commander Shepard, you mind telling me why you're getting off this ship? To give the Geth back their bomb, sir. Permission granted. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Oh, Ashley's in trouble. Ashley's in trouble. Up to the AA tower. Move. Oh, okay, so Caden's guarding the bomb. <laughs> what if we just lose both of them? We like try to get rescue Ashley. She gets killed. Caden arms the bomb and doesn't get rescued in time. Entirely possible. Let's change up the squad a bit then. Um, we'll move with Liara and Garrus now. Instead. As long as you two are with me, you can't die, right? Alright, Caden's on bomb duty. Where are we headed? Are we going this way to the breeding trench? Yeah. I think we're going this way, right? To the AA tower, right. See, look, you get Liara in here, and Liara just fucks everyone up with a space magic. Ah! Leave me alone. Uh, King Krogan. I almost died. Just got straight punched. Ooh, we can put another point in Intimidate, finally. Motivated buyer. Receive twice as many credits when selling items to stores. Nice. Grateful for that. Working on your sniper rifle skill. Okay. There's no actual like timer or anything showing, so I assume we're not really in a race against time. It's a metaphorical race against time. It's quiet. Too quiet. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Fuck. It's gonna give oh my we've got a choice. Oh my god. This okay. They, no, it's not when it's not losing both of them, it's a choice between them. Caden's at the bomb, or Ashley's at the AA tower. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Ah, uh, bruh. Alenko. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. We're going back. Fucking hell. It makes us choice choose between both of them.
So no matter what, because if you send Caden, Caden would be at the AA tower. Uh, and Ashley would be at the bomb. Right? And then you'd still have to choose between them. It's the illusion of choice and in that moment. But now we now we choose who to hold who to save. That man was T-posing at us. Goddamn Geth Prime, dude. Wild. No, Garrus, I was just using Metagel. Get the fuck up. Let me use over overkill on these motherfuckers. Thank you. I mean, here there was a Geth Prime here. That was gonna wreck house. Are we good? Oh no, we're not. Are we good now? Commander, set that nuke and get out. We can't hold them. Damn it! Suppressing fire. Cover your flank. Cover your. Oh, it's Saren. Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Dude. Pretty sure we just lost Ashley. She went down in her glorious final mission. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, Think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Bruh. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. 
If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. You gonna believe that, sir? You gonna believe that? Even when he said, this is my only hope, you know how desperate that sounded? That sounded like, this is my only hope, as if he didn't believe those words. He's clinging on to that. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. And there we go. Fuck, man, we're actually going up against Saren. Just him standing out in there, out there in the open, just ready to throw down. Oh god, I'm gonna get killed. Hold on, get up. Dude! Holy shit, man. <laughs> he, he escapes. Yeah, go, Shepard. <laughs> All right, everybody, hang on. Rescuing Caden was worth it just for that. Just to watch fucking Fem Shep pick Caden up over the shoulder. Fucking, let's get out of here, boy. How could we just leave her down there? Damn, dude. We, yeah, we, we lost. We lost Ashley. And she was a good soldier. They made us choose, dude. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Yes, please. I knew I would need your help to do so. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity.
Yeah, it was this shot. I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mu Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. We already did those options last time. Nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. We spoke to the ship. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Man, these guys don't get it. They just don't get it. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. We're not going to let them know about the fact we spoke to the ship? Apparently not. But there you go. The mission on Vermeer was a bittersweet, uh, a bittersweet success. Uh, we've lost Ashley. We've actually lost a squad member. We avoided losing two squad members because we almost lost Rex as well. Uh, so that's like, that's wild. Uh, they made us choose between Caden and Ashley and Ashley is now no longer with us. Uh, but with that one, guys, I will bring this episode to a close. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the episodes are long and there's a lot to take in and I hope you're enjoying uh, a very in-depth uh, journey through uh this universe because i'm having uh, a really great time this was the best part of the game for me so far i'm glad to know that saren has we didn't kill saren there so there's still more like to go with him as a character uh so the next time is the race against time so uh we've got a apparently we've got a report to the council again 
So I guess we'll go to the Citadel and we'll speak to them in person. Uh, we'll do that next time uh, and and see what else is, is lying in store for us. So before we go back to the Citadel, there may be some more assignments for us to complete, um, but it's, it's really ramping up and I can't wait to see what happens next. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.